Welcome back to WPZ Car. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to create a membership content area in your WordPress site. Uh, membership areas are nice because they're secure. Uh, they're a way for you to gain subscribers through purchase purchases in EasyCart, and then feed them content through your WordPress site. And it really opens up the ability to have anything on a WordPress page and sell it. So maybe you have videos, maybe you have links to a whole bunch of different downloads. You can open up a members area and kind of get creative um, with your content this way. And uh, you can also be charging for your service, which is exactly what we want people to do, uh, is be successful with this. So let's take a look at how you would create a membership content area. Now, first thing to note is that membership content can be a regular product or it can be a subscription. Okay, subscription products or what we like to call recurring payments are items where the customer is billed over and over again automatically, maybe once per week or every month you, you bill the user. Uh, we have a separate video on how to set up a subscription product uh, through Stripe. Uh, so you can have a membership area that is set to that and if the user for example cancels then they would no longer have access to the member area. Now other times people like to have just one time sell and if a user purchases something they have access to your member area. So just remember that, that the product does not have to be a subscription. It can be a retail product that just is a one time purchase membership or it could be an actual subscription recurring through Stripe. So once we have that information and you, you've determined you got a good product set up how you want it, then what you do is you simply go to WordPress pages and we'll take a look at how you create a membership page. So I've created one here called member content page and member content page is just going to have whatever you want your users to see this is your member area this is where you will send people to after they have successfully purchased so you can do this easily by coming over to the right hand side and you can limit access for WP Easy Card. and you can do it by three ways you can do it by product by user or by a user group and so you can see as you scroll through here okay you can be no restrictions by default or I'm gonna go ahead and restrict this to for example my subscription so anybody who has purchased that and is active will see this content they have to be logged in but they'll see this content now I could pick another one uh, I could hold down the control key and I can select multiple products okay I can also lock down by user account as well so there's a lot of different options as well as user roles so if you want to get really creative you can create a new user role in EasyCart maybe say um, mem paid members uh, and you would have to change every user account into the paid members group and they can become a part of this page so there's uh, a good option for everybody now down below we have some redirects that are great as well so when you send this link to somebody if they're not logged in they're not authorized to see this page so where do you want to send them and typically I will send them to my account page I want the user to come and I'm gonna go ahead and sign out here I want them to come to this page I want them to log in in order to see that so I will often just copy and paste in my um, account page right here and that is typically the only one you need now uh, there are situations where customers could be logged in but they haven't purchased so you could actually send them to a specific URL here uh, and if they're not authorized where would you want to send them so I tend to leave these blank um, and I like to fill in just the first redirect right now because I like to have users go to the page uh, to log in because 
they can't see the page unless they get logged in. Um, so this is what they would see if they are um, not logged in and and or if they've never purchased it. So uh, let's take a look at what that might look like now if we purchase. So if I go through and let's say I'm a user who uh, wants to buy something, um, you know, you, you can throw it in your cart, you can go ahead and check out, and a lot of times you can put up on your main menu a paid members area. So let's take a look at how to do that. Uh, I will go to menus and you can see I have that members page just in my uh, menu here. I can move that around, I can put it as a sub menu, maybe I want to put it out on my main menu. And if we refresh here, you can see now we've got a members area. If I click on it, okay, we get this uh, screen that shows, hey, you're not logged in, so go ahead and log in and purchase the right product. Now, I've attached that to a specific item, which is my subscription product. I'm going to go ahead and make that product active on my store. So if I go to my store, I can see it. Here's my product. I can go ahead and go through and sign up. Let's go ahead and do just a test purchase just so you get the idea here. Again, this could be a retail product. It does not have to be a subscription. I'm just going to show you this as an example. Okay, so I've uh, created uh, an actual order. My order's been approved. Now if I go to membership content area, you can see that we're actually in the members area. So whatever content I put there, I could put videos, I could put links to downloads, I will see that. And just to show you on a different browser here, if I'm not logged in, Okay, let's say we take this URL here and somebody tries to pass it around. Say, so, hey, go get my go get my members area. So they come out and they send it to somebody like this. And you hit enter, you're gonna see that it redirects to the account. And so users are going to have to log in. So unless they start passing around their email and their passwords to get into the members area, which you can't ever control. Uh, it's a very secure system at this point and gives a good way for you to feed that membership content to your users uh, only those who purchase and are attached to a specific product so that's how you make membership content if you want to know how to create subscriptions uh, which are the actual payments um, you can take a look at that video we also have some good videos on how to create uh, various other products like uh, downloadable products invoice items uh, and so on and so forth. So be sure to check out uh, our video library for those other videos and we'll see you there.